So it's a Monday. It's a nice slow work day today. Uh, we're here at the KOA in St. Augustine Beach. Another week, another mobile RV tech is here to have a look at stuff on a new coach. This time he's looking at my middle AC unit. For some reason, it's not turning on. No heat, no AC. So we're gonna have to look at that. Uh, hopefully it's something relatively minor. That whole AC unit has to be replaced. Uh, also my heat pump in the front is throwing uh, an error code. I'll put a picture of it right here uh, for you to look at when we uh, fire up the heat pump. But it's still a nice day and that's, uh, it's great. And Alex from uh, American Mobile RV Repair is here to have a look at our stuff and uh, hopefully he can get it all sorted out for us. Seems to be a pretty knowledgeable guy. So uh, we'll see how he does. All right, I'm gonna go in and uh, make sure I can give him any support that he needs. So the gremlins continue with our rig. So the mill mechanics have been here for a couple hours, uh, still trying to troubleshoot the AC issues and um, and see what's going on with the middle AC and it's not uh, firing up at all. Um, and it's, <laughs> I don't get these RV manufacturers. Like the Firefly control panel, the one we need to check the voltage from is behind, behind the shower and tucked away and it's impossible to service it. I don't understand why they would do that, such a thing. It doesn't make any sense to me from an engineering perspective, why they would do that. He's working really hard to make sure that the thing, I can't fault him at all. He's trouble, trying to troubleshoot it the best he can. Uh, I think we just may be uh, waiting to take it to the uh, a Thor dealer to get it uh, get it really looked look at so uh, and see what's going on because there's something Something not working with the middle AC unit and that error on the heat pump. At least we have two ACs that work. And good thing about it, it is going into November, December, January. So in Florida, it shouldn't get too, too crazy hot. So uh, we should we should be able to survive here for a little while until we get it into La Mesa RV in uh, the first week of February. All right, I'll check back in and let you know how Alex from American RV is working out. And I think he's doing a heck of a good job for us, but just these pesky little engineering issues keep coming up. Hey everyone, look who's back in our video. It's Missy. So we're here at the, uh, we're here at the St. Augustine Outlet Mall. And one of the things I'm starting to notice in the US, Missy, what? is EVGO is showing up with rapid, with car chargers at the outlet malls. Yeah. Cause we were at that outlet mall in where, Calhoun, Georgia? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And they had EVGO. Yeah. We're here at St. Augustine Outlet Malls. And, and they got electric car chargers. Charging up the uh, car right here, right here on the screen. You can see we've got it running. I don't know if you can see because the stupid cables in the way, but uh, can you see the car chargers going? Missy, why don't you tell our YouTube channel why we're here at the Elton Mall? So Stuart's dad called and said, "Remember that track that you lent me two years ago?" Yes, and I like I remember yesterday what I love what jacket it was. He said I really liked it. You, when did you want it? He said do you have it still. Oh. I said well, chances are I chances are I probably got rid of this jacket. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we yeah. probably gave it to. Good and if I had it, I probably wouldn't give it to him because I liked it. Yeah. So yeah. Well, he said, well, you go. I sh back. Let me rephrase. He wanted to buy it off me. Oh, okay. So anyway, we're here to see if Brooks Brothers still carries a jacket like it. Because yeah. it was two years ago. First off, we're going to find out if there is a def definitely a Brooks Brothers here. Wants to show everyone that he's wearing shorts and back, back in sandals back in back Florida. In Florida. So there you go. So we're on our way to find out the special gift or special delivery we have to do or special request we need to fulfill. So. We're going to wander around and try to find Brooks Brothers to see if there's a Brooks Brothers here in the mall. Oh, and Joe's mom is calling me again. So the Brooks Brothers is in the other one, not in the one that we're at right now. So we're walking back to the car after its quick little drink of juice. We're going to drive across the highway and go to the other outlet mall. 
Because premium. the premium one, the federal drone is one. The, the thing is, I was just telling Missy this, that all the malls are dying. Like there's these, remember when these things used to be packed? Yeah. Now there's nobody here. So, oh well. I read, uh, uh, yeah, on the weekend it is. I read an inter interesting article today, how Amazon is killing local business. And uh, you know what it is? So Kohl's, for example, and this is from Rosanna, my immigration lawyer. She put this on LinkedIn today. Yeah. Is that Kohl's, she ordered a package for, from Kohl's. They delivered it, they tried to deliver it to our house, yeah. but couldn't deliver it to our house for some reason. So they sent it over to another store and told her to go pick it up at that store. Oh, wow. And said, well, why, why would I order it? Yeah. If I was gonna go to the store and pick it up. So anyway, this is, that's why Amazon is killing these local, uh, these other businesses because they got this whole shipping thing sorted out, right? All right, we're at the other outlet mall. So this one's premium outlets. Yes. And was the other one just... Not premium. Not premium. <laughs> Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign where? You just went past it. Oh, well, for what? Uh, to stop. That's what? usually what a stop sign is for. I didn't see it. Well, maybe because you're too busy, don't video it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> don't video and drive, people. All right, so we're here at the other outlet mall now. Yes. After blowing a stop sign. <laughs> yes. At, at, let me, blowing a stop sign at two miles an hour. Well, you, st you still didn't stop. That's the second time in the last couple of weeks I've done that. I know. So I must be getting old and getting forgetful. Well... No, you were videoing and you weren't watching the road. Oh my goodness. Oh. Getting a lecture now, folks. No, you're not getting a lecture. Yeah. You're going to get a punch. Oh! We struck out at the uh, Brooks Brothers. They did not have the coat that we wanted. What are you looking for? What is that? What is that little oh, okay. Chevrolet over thing over yes, there? I see. Instead of complaining about me running stop signs, why don't you open your eyes and look around you and see what's going on? I'm gonna punch you again. <laughs> We're driving around trying to find a place to have dinner. So I'm finding out this big alarming trend going on. So uh, in Tifton, Georgia, we tried to go to Burger King yeah. and the restaurant was closed. Yeah. We went and tried to go to McDonald's last night mm -hmm. and the restaurant dining area was closed, drive through only. Yeah. We just left Arby's, same story. drive through only. I don't want to go to drive throughs No. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to sit and eat my car or take it back and get to the back to the RV and it's cold and, yeah. you know, the fries are all soggy because they're cold. That you can't go well, anywhere to eat, di like fast food restaurants, you, unless you go to the local ones like, like the, um, like Chick Fil A was yeah. still open and the, yeah. and the dining yeah, yeah, yeah. room was busy. Yeah. Well, I think part of it is they but, they probably can't get workers. But Chick Fil A is a right? cool company, and Chick Fil A is a cool company to work for. So if they can't get workers, like I read that one thing on Facebook for the Sebring group that only one person showed up to work at Popeyes, and she literally couldn't go in and run the whole restaurant by herself. So she went home too. So then there was no one at Popeye's. So, <laughs> so do, it was closed who, for the day. They, who, they can't get any employees. Who do we have to thank for that? Who do we have to thank Brandon. for that? Brandon. <laughs> You're not supposed to get political. I'm not getting it. I'm just saying Brandon is the guy well, to thank, right? Yeah, okay. That's getting political. Anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the place that we had breakfast yesterday. Yeah, little, it was, it little, was really good. Little, I drove by in this morning when I went to the beach with Archie. Little Marina's, something like that. Anyway. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but we'll let you know what it's called. But anyway, I googled when we first got here places for breakfast, and I noticed that they had eggs Benedict, and all the reviews said it was like the place to go for our eggs Benedict. That it was awesome every single review so obviously we went there for a benedict but yeah we're gonna try it out for dinner hey everyone we're here at uh what is this little margie's yes. yeah this is the best mimosa spot whoa <laughs> hey what hey spot. guys get on our get on our youtube channel yeah. oh, get, uh, 
You gotta get my boy Finn out here. <laughs> Look at my this boy is Finn. Finn. Finn right here. Oh, Finn. Finn again over here. Finn again. Beauty over and here. And what's I your guy's name? I'm Alec. Mike Alec. Orange of Peace. And you guys are local guys here? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. First name Tyler, last name Jimmy. Look me up. All right. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Alec the Queen. Uh, you three dogs in an RV.com. Check it out. Wait, where's your three dogs? They're in, our, in the RV. What kind of dog is RV? Yeah, oh, I go over there at KOA. What kind of dogs? Two chihuahuas and a terrier. Oh, I have two wine riders out. Just a mixture of different breeds. Yeah. But yeah, we're at Little Missy, we're at Little Margie's. Yeah. Are you guys from Margie's? We're house? from the villages. Where's oh, that? Nice. It's where all the old people will retire to. Well, that's great. You guys are retired. Not yet. Uh -oh. We're still working. <laughs> all right. We're going to get some food. Yeah. All right. So, Missy, what do you think of uh, Little Margie's? Of course, that's the way I always do. Look, it's Harley, uh, Harley Boulevard. It's good. Just good? Yeah. How would your Philly change? Is better than your Philly that you had at uh, Hurricane? Yeah. Yeah, this uh, burger is really good. Yeah. We're going to keep eating. Come by a Little Margie's and check it out. It's really, really worth it. So at 6 o'clock, we're back at the rig. 6 o'clock, folks. Anyway, we had a good uh, dinner at Little Margie's, and we're back at the rig. And we're going to uh, settle in for the night. And the puppies are in their little playpen here. They've been cooped up in the RV most of the Well, not for a couple hours, yeah. Six, three hours. Archie dug, uh, started digging some holes here in the truck. And Looks, and she's got the lights on here for the rig, so but it still looks good. Alright, we're going to uh, settle in for the night. And